Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is audio engineer Dennis Rivadinera. How did I do? Did I get it you right? Killed it right on. Right. Excellent. Okay. You know the dance? 30 seconds on the clock. On to the next question. Are you ready? I am. Okay. Question number one Describe your job to a five year old. Uh, let me show you. Bring this little thing higher and listen. Now it makes it louder. Now do it again. Now leave it where you think it sounds good. What do you think? Wow. So you get through 24 channels of that. Kid is seven by then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> All right. Next question. What piece of music or audio gear did you lust after early in your career, but never, ever get? Oh, wow. The thing is that I was pretty lucky all along, but so far I would say I'm lusting over another pair of Tannoy's, um, the monitors, mm -hmm. SRN 10 Bs. Oh, mm -hmm. I got a pair of 600s over here that I just got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got rid of a pair of 800s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful stuff. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Mac okay. You can never have too many speakers. We know that. No, absolutely not. Okay. Next question. Oof. Name something that most people like, but you can't stand. Oof, this is going to hurt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's his name from the Smashing Pumpkins? His voice. <laughs> Billy Corgan's voice? Yeah. You know what? I will have to admit this. I am the only other person probably in the world that feels the same way. No, I've heard other people and I've heard other really? people. It's, it's uh, like nothing yeah. against Billy. You know, the, no. I, I understand that the band's great and everybody and people wow. like him and stuff like that. But there's something about his voice that to me just hits a frequency, man. I know people that will. Oh. How funny. All right. Next question. What album do you wish you could listen to again for the very first time and why? Ooh, Rush 2112. Ooh. That's yeah, and why I was coming out of, I believe, just being a little hungover, but I found it interesting enough that I didn't want to come stay asleep. Someone else was playing, and I was like, what is this? So it was interesting, and that was it. Okay, Rush as a Hangover Cure. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's a new one. <laughs> All right, next question. Ben and Jerry have just named a new flavor for you. What's it called and what's in it? Oh, it's American Dream Plus. It's what's in American Dream Plus, maybe, I don't know, uh, maple syrup. What else? Come on. It's got to be your maple, flavor. Maple makes syrup. It special. Maple syrup. That could either be really, really good or absolutely horrible. Well, like anything, it just depends on how much you put in it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not little. sure I'm down for trying that one. <laughs> Very little. Okay. Or uh, Mescal. I made it. <laughs> All right. That concludes our regularly scheduled questions. I'm going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to either answer for me a question you wish I had asked, pontificate on life, shamelessly plug something that you're doing, whatever you want, 30 seconds, it's all yours. Go. Well, pontificating. I see uh, there's so many things pontificating. I see a lot of stuff about uh, uh, tracks being called stems or tracks. That needs to go back to what it is, tracks. Because nobody saw a multi-stem machine. <laughs> it, they're multi-track machines, not multi-stem machines. It's true. It's true. You know and I don't I mean? quite get that. It's like, didn't we used to call those submixes? No, I think, you know, colloquialism just kind of got in the way of things sometimes. And, you know, people just kind of start using names for anything. Kanye's fault. Yeah. You know, I hear some kids <laughs> that call any piece of gear a board. And, yeah, you know, yeah. And I was like, what's a board? And like, oh, oh man, I blame Kanye. It's his fault. Probably. <laughs> probably, probably. Everything's his fault. Yeah. Dennis <laughs> Rivadinia, thank you for being our guest. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.